Good morning everyone. This is Dr. Neha Dubey. Today I am going to discuss the theory of farm part 2. First of all, uh, starting before with this topic, first of all I would like to uh, give you the quick recap of a previous topic. In that uh, I will uh, explain about the traditional theory of a farm. What is the traditional of theory of farm? A traditional theory of a farm is talking about the information symmetry uh, in uh, all the firm. It is considered as a homogeneous unit. The marginal analysis is a basic tool and ultimate goal of the firm is a profit maximization. So that uh, on that assumptions the traditional theory have a certain loopholes. So the uh, modern economists find it out that there is a loophole so it should be corrected. On that basis uh, they are given the next theory that is the alternative theories of a firm. So it is consists of a number of things. First of all is the sales maximization or the market share. With sales maximization, firm sales at a lower prices and seeks to increase sales. They may have a constant to make a minimum amount of a profit to keep owners happy, but they may go for a sales maximization for a various reasons. Okay, so sales maximization is uh, is what it is aiming that the sales maximization or the market share can be captured by the firm. So here is a not only talking about the profit maximization, the profit can be minimized but the reach to the target people can be maximized. So there are the number of reasons on that basis the sales maximization can be possible, the increased market share and therefore the monopoly power. If the company or the firm is uh, uh, reached to the uh, number of people, so there is a chances of a get the monopoly power. And this can enable the long term profit maximization. Gives a greater sense of a prestige to be at the head of a big company and dominate the market. Now the gaining market share gives a sense of success that may be more miserable in the world than profit. Market share is what it is uh, help in uh, establishing the brand name because the every or uh, the most of the people uh, have the reach of your product. Managerial salaries are likely to increase in a bigger companies. Second aim is the growth maximization. Firms always uh, focus on the profit maximization but there are the certain things also on that basis the firm can earn uh, the profit as well as they are uh, they become a successful the growth maximization is similar to the sales maximization but the growth implies the increasing size of firm and this may involve the firm taking on a risky expansions borrowing to invest in a new capital and this may make the firm less financially secure but offers prospects of a rapid growth throughout the investment and acquisitions the traditional theory of the firm underplays the role of mergers and acquisition as a way for a firm to increase in a size and gain more market share and prestige. If the firm, uh, firm's products are popular and uh, have the good market share or the good market capture, so there is a possibility of uh, uh, expansion. It can be done uh, through self-expansion or it can be done through the mergers or acquisition. On that basis, the firm size can be increased. So we can say that the growth maximization, my, uh, maximization is another a good option. Now the managerial utility maximization. A limitation of the traditional theory of a firm is that it equates utility maximization with the profit maximization. But in the real world, it is much more complex and there are uh, many things that determine a manager's utility. Getting on with workers, a boss doesn't want to annoy his fellow workers just to make more profit for owners. If the you are the team leader, so you have to balance between your owner and your workers. If you are a good boss, so you have to understand what your workers need, what your workers want and what are their specialized decision criteria and how you will take the work from them. So that the objective of firm can be fulfilled. But if the boss wanted to do like that, you have to be so strict, you have to do so and so, so that your workers can be annoyed. So this is not a 
गुड पॉलिसी फ्रिंज बेनिफिट्स दीज आर द अदर बेनिफिट्स मैनेजर में गेट अ लॉट ऑफ यूटिलिटी फ्रॉम अ फ्रिंज बेनिफिट लाइक हैविंग वन एट अ वर्क लेविश ऑफ लेविश ऑफ अ चीज एंड टेकिंग टाइम ऑफ टू प्ले गल्फ एक्सेट्रा इफ द डायरेक्शन ऑफ अ फॉर्म इज गवर्न बाय मैनेजर्स देयर मे बी अ फॉर्म ऑफ अ प्रॉफिट सेटिस्फेक्शन वेयर द मैनेजर्स डू अनफ टू कीप द ओनर्स हैप्पी बट देन परस्यू दीज अदर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑल्सो सो द मैनेजर प्ले वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल हेयर टू बैलेंस बिटवीन द बॉस एंड योर टीम वर्कर्स सो दैट द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द फॉर्म कैन बी फुलफिल्ड लास्ट वन इज द कॉपोरेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड द सोशल वेलफेयर द फोर्थ मॉडल अज्यूम्स दैट फर्म्स हैव अ मिक्सचर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव प्रॉफिट मे बी वन बट द फर्म मे हैव अ मिशन स्टेटमेंट टू प्रायरटाइज इन्वायरमेंटल वेलफेयर और ऑफर सम सर्विसेज टू द लोकल कम्युनिटी एवरी फॉर्म हैज़ अ सर्टन गाइडलाइन फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट दे हैव टू डू सर्टन सी एस आर मीन्स द फर्म हैज़ अ सर्टन रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी वॉट दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग टू द सोसाइटी एंड द वन कंडीशन इज ऑल्सो इम्प्लीकेबल दैट इज दे आर दे डू नॉट हार्म टू द इन्वायरमेंट सो दे आर फोर द फर्म मे इन दिस सरप्लस प्रॉफिट इन द कम्युनिटी स्कीम्स which benefit local stakeholders rather than shareholders for example a football club may choose a price lower than market equilibrium to keep matches affordable to local supporters and it may reinvest profits in a community schemes okay understood this example and the sometimes corporate responsibility may be masked as a clever marketing strategy and the percentage of a profit invested in a community or charity is actually very low so different potential business objectives are what these are the non profit cooperatives increased market shares or the sales maximization profit maximization profit satisfying and the social and environmental concerns so this is all about <coughs> the alternative theory of farm so this thank you for a uh, uh, listening patience fully this lecture i hope you will understand the both the theories of a farm and this is a uh, important topic of the managerial economics so listen carefully and understand thank you very much and have a nice day